we are here as part of uh, Signify Sanctify Believes primary branches, uh, their branch, the Saints and Servants of the Order of Contemporary Religious Observance has invited us to come and lead service here. Saints and Servants of the uh, Order of Contemporary Religious Observance is focused on artist-led, experimental, religious and spiritual sermons, services, etc. that are temporary. So welcome to our temporary worship service today. My name is Guru Rudy. And I'm Pastor Kate Durbin. I'd like to introduce Guru Rudu, our worship pastor. Um, he's going to be leading you all in some chants. Guru Rudu is a celebrated, best-selling, self-published self-helper from Los Angeles who has changed the lives of millions with his simple but effective experimental meditation. He has worked with many other illustrious experimental healers, artists, and writers, including Miranda Moot and Matador Oven. Guru Rugu has been helping turn your desperation into inspiration since 1955, when he helped co-found the Los Angeles Meditation Ghostwriters Guild, local number 12, where he still serves as chief meditating officer and interim coordinator. In 1971, Guru Rugu helped co-found the Experimental Meditation Center of Los Angeles, which has no center, with artist Adam Overton. Since 2012, Guru Rugu has worked intimately with Signify Sanctify Believe, a huge crew of religious technologists and publishing anarchivists, hearkening from Los Angeles. Guru Rugu currently hosts Guru Rugu's Experimental Meditation Hour on K Chung Radio, AM 1630, every first Sunday from 10 to 11 p.m. and archived at http gururugu.kchungradio.org. He also provides inspirational tweets nearly every day at http twitter.com slash guru h rugu. Though not formally acknowledged, it is well known that Guru Rugu was the inspiration behind Matador Oven's provocative and influential tract, A Dabblerist Manifesto. So I give you Guru Rugu, our worship pastor today. On melons in state, being on tussling, 
on thinking, on real man sits, on real man slot, on ginormous and even of ginormous, on mold rage and deeps, and on friends to mold rage and deeps, on sulfur means, on carving, on hex tincture, on bath, on dim sum, Noah train me. In dent, theirs is frothing to be untrained. The buddy tasters give us these nuts dim sum without hydrants in the mint. On hydrants, there's more kefir. Raft beyond to losing thinking, they find all we away pent up monkey nerd zombie y'all w's buddy tasters of sap serpent and croutons give us these nuts dim sum and therefore reach the moist soup dream and lunch and meat therefore now that this dim sum big wand dim sum is the great fest hard on we the hybrid hard on we the high guess hard on we the pearl that's hard on me. Its monks lately sang of all sulfur means. Notice as troops and donuts brought. Sunset thorns is refund. Dim sums hard on me. Net worth is hard on me. And clean air. Down, down, down to the mother star. Untrain the mother star. Tube of yarn, another star, shaving Denver felt, dim sum shoot suit to burn. Right, that was excellent, thank you. Um, I'd like to um, go ahead and introduce Pastor Kate Durbin, who's going to be leading the first prayer of the day, a very short prayer. Let me introduce her. So, Pastor Kate Durbin grew up in the evangelical, evangelical Christian church, garnering a minor in biblical studies at the Bible Institute of Los Angeles in 2004. She is now a writer, performer, and transmedia artist. She is the author of The Ravenous Audience on Akashic Books, uh, E Entertainment on Block Press Diamond Edition, forthcoming, and co author of Abra forthcoming in artist books and iOS editions. Recently, she received an expanded artist book grant from the Center for Book and Paper Arts at Columbia College, Chicago, as well as an And Now Innovation Writing Award. She is founding editor of Gaga Stigmata, an online arts and criticism journal about Lady Gaga. Her Tumblr project, Women as Objects, has been featured in T-Mobile's Your, Digi uh, Your Digital Daily, Hyperallergic, resulting in, uh, which resulted in the uh, sites being banned from Facebook, Arcadia Nissa, and Bright Stupid Confetti, and she has presented uh, the project uh, at the presented the project at the Girl the uh, School of Global Arts Down Under, Cal Arts, the Weho Public Library, Otis College, and at other locations, virtual and physical. Pastor Kate Turpin, would you like to come and lead us in the
the spirit of art uniting us all. Yes, thank you, St. Yoko. And we have one other piece from St. Yoko. If you'd all like to return to your spots on the pews. This is called Whisper Peace. <laughs> so I'd like to ask everyone to whisper and ask the wind to take your whisper to the end of the world. Uh, 
There are many more than enough pressures to push us to seek escape through the many forms of self-medication, both healthy and destructive. Imagine taking the most powerful drug in history and making it instantly available at the push of a button at little or no cost. Your drug use is secret and the drug dealers come to you. That's exactly what the internet and art book fairs like this one have done with scenes and art books. It's what we call the four A's of scene and art book mar marketplace. Accessible, affordable, anonymous, and aggressive. Now you can understand why some estimates show more than 60 million people in the U.S. caught up in this drug use level. The good news is that while there is a logistical, scientific explanation behind how and why individuals get trapped, trapped in zine and health addiction, there is also a tested and proven process for getting them out. For more information on the Chobani Road to Guru Birch Mixed Weeds to Free Doom Recovery Program, please get in touch with us after this service. And uh, just briefly, this is a very successful program. We have one testimonial from a very special client of ours. Um, he couldn't be here today, so pressure, so he's at home. Um, but here, but he gave me something to read to you. It was probably, you know, probably in my 20s when I realized, you know what, this was more, this had a grasp on me that, that I can't just, I can't just break myself. I didn't know where to go. I don't, I didn't know who, you know, to turn to or to get help from. So, um, and again, luckily we, you know, came across, you know, this program and it's helped me exponentially. I was able to open up and I thought, inside me, I was a little tentative, you know, but I thought, okay, I'm just going to see how this goes. And I was very open and, you know, honest and saying, okay, this is, let's see how those are the responses. And yeah, so the Jabrani Road Duke experience is going, you know, like, they made me realize that I'm not a bad guy just because I like to view this stuff. The whole Jabrani Road Duke program is just nice and smooth. It just kind of took it step by step, you know, and uh, we were able to accomplish a lot. The relationship with my wife is the best it's ever been. It continues to grow stronger every day. I want to be able to express, you know, what I've been able to go through and how it's helped me. I want to be able to help others that are in, find themselves in the same situation. So again, to begin your recovery from seeing it and art book addiction, talk to Trevani Rector today. Um, I think, uh, Kate, Pastor Kate, you have some announcements you'd like to make as well, yes? church bulletin, you will find an art-related prayer request card. Um, and what we'd like you to do with that card is to please fill it out with your art-related prayer request. Please make sure that it is an art-related prayer request. And we will be praying for you in just a moment. And oh, we have some cards if you did not receive one, and some pens as well. So raise your hand if you need a pen or a card, and Worship Pastor Guru Ruru will provide those for you. And then um, my mystery announcement for you is basically due to the ban um, at the Beth and Boca on fog machines bubble machines, I have decided to leave the church. So this will be my first and last <laughs> service oh. with you all as oh. Pastor Kate Durbin. Um, however, I will, I will let you know when I start my own church, probably at um, the other half of the street, thinking they might let me use the fog machine so that I can ascend properly. I 
think in everything I do is wrong. Plot twist. You kill yourself, and then you wake up, and your whole life has been a nightmare, and the real you is everything you ever wanted to be. I want a banana, but we have no bananas, a real dilemma. I am so jealous of girls who are free. I think that's all I really want. I got out of class early today and ate an orange and watched a lady bug and drew pictures. Somebody told me he liked my glasses but I think he was being a smart ass. I said thank you anyway. Like a Virgin Mary touched for the very first time by the Holy Spirit. Krispy Kreme donuts and alcohol? I am clearly on a very spiritual diet. Posing naked with a bowl of fruit. Can someone actually talk to me, please? Getting ready for school in the morning. Sits on my bed without a shirt on for 10 minutes, thinking about how much I hate school. and I eat the skin and all I just take a bite right out of it. My main question is, has anyone ever fantasized about having sex with me? Check out my Tumblr if you want to know the real me. Last night, a group of intellectual guys tried to drag me into this conversation, and they asked me to describe myself in five words. So I said, out of your league. And they yelled, that's only four words. So I replied, dickheads, and walked away. I do this really cute thing where I shut down and hate everything. Perk of dating me. I have no social life and we can hang out whenever it's convenient for you. I literally smile at every text you send me. Every time I look back to six months ago, I realize how stupid I was. And six months before that, I was even stupider. So right now, I'm probably still really stupid. And six months from now, I'll be even more stupid. And I'll be like, wow, I was stupid six months ago. Basically, the point is, I'm stupid. I have wanted to kill myself a hundred times, but somehow I am still in love with life. Voltaire.
between uh, A.A. Robinson and John and Linda goes into the space, patron seats, some of our patron seats today. So they're going to be listening for our requests. Thank you. 
burning prayer request that you do mention on these cards that you would like us to lay on our book texts for you. Um, so instead of you know laying on of hands, we would like to look on your body and pray for you. So does anyone uh, have that that burning prayer?
digital sticker of the Art World Covenant.
we are going to chant well. So we're going to pass around our tithes back. And if you have any donations you'd like to make to the church um, to help it sustain itself, perhaps find some uh, fog, uh, fog conducive uh, venues that you might rejoin us, please drop any money you might have or our folks received and, and pass this around as we uh, sing. Or what we just chant. We need to purchase more angel stickers. Because we just use them up here. You can just pass the bag around and get it. So, so everybody together, if you'll chant with us. Maybe I just want to fly. <laughs> I want to live, I do not want to die. <laughs> Maybe I just want to breathe. Maybe I just don't believe. Maybe I will never be all the things that I want to be. But now is not the time to cry. Now is the time to find out why. I think you're the same as me. We'll see things they'll never see. You and I are gonna live forever. Thank you so much for joining us for our service today. Um, feel free to come find Guru and Kate Durbin later. Uh, uh, Ruru will be here all day at the Signify Sanctify Believe table in the middle of this room, and Kate Durbin may be found nearby as well. There will be miraculous sightings. Today's uh, service is adjourned.